and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for another Jace adventure. This one is going to be the most difficult one. This is going to be the Nautilus adventure. At least I think it's the most difficult. That's what everybody has said. I actually haven't tried this out yet. This is going to be our very first attempt uh, trying to defeat Nautilus and Sejuani and the uh, you know that adventure. So let's get to it. So looking at our champion, uh, you know, like we're we've played through so far just the first five. We haven't done anything else to get any additional reputation, so we do not have a rare relic slot yet. So we still just only have our common relic slot. Um, and so with our commons, we can do one to all enemies, but if their stuff has tough, then that doesn't really do very much. Hey, what's up, Riot? Uh, Liberos, hello, hello. And Flaming Lizard, gifted out a sub. Thank you so much, Flaming Lizard. I really appreciate that. So we don't really need that uh, Ravenous Hydra ability, dealing one to all enemies. So we're looking at the other two, and we've been pretty happy with Spell Shield so far. I think we're just going to go ahead and stick with that. So here we go. Well, let's continue our adventure. Heading down to Nautilus. And so what makes this Nautilus one so tough is that all of their units do have tough. <laughs> okay, I probably could use the better word there. Um, but that's going to be the mutator here. Um, so let's go ahead and try this adventure out for the first time. Let's see. Okay, so we got our, you know, saltwater scourge uh, looking board because Nautilus is bilge water. Sejuani is going to be our mid boss. And we're going to be starting off kind of in Freljord. So let's um, head on over here, see what our first power is going to be. Nice. Thank you so much, Flaming Lizard. Gifted the sub for some luck. Got some got some sub luck with the gift there. Unfortunately, these are all poor common abilities. So higher education, give allies plus one, plus zero this round. Ugh, I mean, that can kind of help us trade up with tough things, but that's not very good. I think we're already using one of our rerolls immediately. We only have two rerolls. Yes, round start rally. Okay, now we talking. Now we got a rare uh, power. Now we talking. A lot of those common ones just aren't really what we're looking for. Okay, the beast below. So all their sea monsters will have fearsome and tough. All right, so here we go. Let's see what this is like. Playing against everything that has tough. Oh, I guess we didn't check our deck list of, you know, one of our um, cards will randomly have a common power. I don't know which one of our cards that is and what power that is. I like starting with the Forge Chief. This just seems like a pretty good hand altogether. You think they need to have infinite rerolls to power one? I don't know. Infinite rerolls is pretty, pretty broken. Let's get to work. That... Yeah, I, I don't know if you need infinite rerolls, because then cause that will just punish like people that don't really use the infinite rerolls and stuff. I don't know. I don't really like infinite rerolls, to be honest. Let's go, people. That's scary. Sea Scarab is a good card. That one's scary. Okay. So we're gonna go and go with the forges tomorrow first, because it is good to keep. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna do this. It is good to uh, keep these six cost spells in hand for a little bit because of our just um, regular player power. That whenever we summon our ally, it gets plus one plus zero for how many six plus cost spells. So that made the forge worker turn into a. Um, Five, three. I think I forgot. Did I forget to attack earlier with Round Star Rally? I don't know. Maybe I did. All right, let's get quick attack. One, four, top. Powering up. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Figure it out. Okay. Because this would have been if if the AI would have blocked the Forge Worker. Then, you know, we Mystic Shot them, and they take 10 before, and so we lose. Alright, let's get these six cost spells now. Start playing them. Let's get to Start work. leveling up Jace. AKA, get to work. So small, lacking courage. Oh. Tech engaged. 
Jay should be the last one attacking, but... Yeah, Jay should definitely be the last one attacking. Because they want to block Jay, so now, now I'm just like... Had, like Yeah, I'm just helping them heal their Nexus. If we, should, if we attack the other way around, you know, like we're doing lethal damage, that was not a good attack. But I don't think it really matters. I think we should, should still just be at 30 and... Yeah, so that was a poor ordering, but it also just didn't matter. Okay, so we got through the first one. Not so bad. Ooh, get an epic prismatic. Hopefully that upgrades to champion. Two copies of one of these cards. Of course, I don't really care about the preservationist, so we're not taking that at all. But these are just kind of generic cards with no powers or anything. Um, Time Trick or Mystic Shant. Both, both pretty good. You know, like, they're both perfectly fine. We do already have Mystic Shots in the deck. We don't have Time Tricks. I guess. The thing is, like, you usually have, like, a full hand all the time, right? So, like, are we really going to want to, like, spend two mana? Um, I don't know if we really ever will. I think I'll just take more Mystic Shots, I guess. But then again, all their stuff has tough, so is, like, Mystic Shot even any good? That's difficult. All right, let's look at our deck. What has... Oh, no, the Golden Crush Bot has Fearsome. Oh, you know, the Golden Crush Bot and the Pharaoh Skyscraper. Those are... Or Sky Cruiser. You know, those are the cards that we mulligan all the time. The worst cards in our deck. All right, so we're... We have a tough run here. We have a useless keyword on a useless card. And then we have... We already had to use our reroll to start. So this is going to be a tough run. Oh, we don't have a great champion here either. Because we've, we've gotten lucky the last two champions. We had, you know, Lux and Heimer. These last two. Not interested in Callista one bit. Sejuani. Eh. Eh. I guess we're going Caitlyn. Oh, no. We're... No, all their stuff has tough. Never mind. Caitlyn's not very good. <laughs> I guess we can reroll. All right. So what's Sejuani going to do for us? Sejuani can do some stuff. You know, like that that whole, you know, vulnerable... Yeah, Sejuani can do some stuff. We could take Sejuani. I guess, I guess we will. A reroll may be better. Okay. So they're both going to end up here. You know, looking at it, let's look at our fork. They're both ending up here in the middle. So we can either go towards the item chest or the spells chest. I like spells chest more myself. Yeah. Because we, we really want, you know, like our deck is built around spells. We want our spells to be pretty powerful. And especially in a matchup like this. So... Let's kind of see. Round start. If they have more unit than the player, obliterate the player's lowest health unit. That sounds super scary. So if they just have more units than we do, then our lowest health unit just gets obliterated. That sounds really scary. Alright, what's this one? Round start. Give the player's weakest ally vulnerable. So basically our weakest thing will just have vulnerable every round. That's not as scary... That's not as scary. I guess we can go towards the items chest. We'll go that way. Yeah, I said the, the lower one's much more difficult. Yeah, like, just getting our stuff obliterated, that sounds super scary. This is going to be a tough tough run. I don't, I don't love our secondary champion. I don't love our random uh, power we got for a card. Is, we're going to be in some trouble. This is a pretty decent curve. We do attack. We do have the attack token round four. As far as like attack first, then Wolf Rider. Good chance I should just be sending Wolf Rider back though. In our um, with our theory of um, generic mid range units not being valuable. But I'm going to try to get this extra mana gem. Then again, if we don't have... Yeah, we just have more Mystic Shots. Yeah, if we don't have, like, our champions, then those don't matter so much. Nothing has tough. Hmm. Okay, we got Jace. Oh, right. We have Round Start Rally, so we're going to have the attack token kind of all the time anyway.
think that's worth it. Sejuani. We just gotta get Jason play. Help us out, Jace. We need your help, Jace. Man, we're just getting random mid range units, not valuable. Let's get started. They taking it? Ooh, they took it. Spell that bard fear. Mm. All right, some kind of good spell. Wow. Carved from the savage cold. Winter take you. <laughs> this is pretty tough. Bristle, attack. Blow them. I guess I, I guess I don't want to attack there, because the problem with attacking there is then, you know, my Sejuani is going to have vulnerable, and I'd much rather this four three have vulnerable than the Sejuani. Oh my gosh, how are we drawing so bad? <laughs> how are we drawing so bad? This is our first time in any one of these. Uh, yes, yeah, so this is just gonna be a grant later on. In any one of these at all that we've you know never drawn like an expensive spell like we've drawn. Oh right, that thing. I was complaining and didn't do math. Uh, we've only had units. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Come on, people. Let's make tomorrow today. These stories were true. Yeah, we are. I think this is gonna be the first time we ever we've lost a path of champions. A spell, finally. Too bad that spell really isn't very good right now. The good news is we like can't draw any of these sky cruisers and crush bots or anything like that anymore. That's good news. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to hold that or play it. The reason to hold it would be we can give our other units plus one, plus zero. We're holding it. We can still pull this out. But then the reason to cast it, of course, is help out the Sky Cruiser. Our spoils will rival the War Mothers. Hear that no! Result. Punish for playing it. If I didn't play it, I could have attacked with both. Now I can only attack here. Come on, give me a spell. Okay, it's a spell. Hear that. Wow, what a draw for them. Now we just need to draw a Jace.
Draw a chase. Forge of tomorrow. Man, this is intense. They got 10 cards left, I got 12. Ooh. That one's too good. Fight or die. I'm through waiting. I guess we pass. Take three. Okay, what do we got? Shock blast. Did they just get the 5-5? Five five? Oh, they what did. Catch. Leave nothing standing. Okay, so we'll Shock Blast, Shock Blast, Mystic Shot. guess. We could do like 5 damage to them also, but I think that probably protecting our Nexus is a little bit better. We got a Jace. Definitely choosing, you know, I don't care about the Challenger. I don't really care about challenging either one. So definitely choosing the quick attack so that whenever we cast this acceleration gate, we can get two additional um, keywords. We're really, you know, looking for overwhelm or elusive, you know, something like that that like gets us that rest of that damage. Like, you know, the best would be like elusive life steal, right? Like getting like life steal. The first one, oh, the first one was elusive. Okay, I was like, did we not get a keyword? Okay. Whew, so didn't die. We're still alive. Now that's what I call progress. Man, this is difficult. We're still alive. Let's take a Vi. It's a very easy one. <laughs> yeah. There's always like the champion and then two cards that aren't nearly worth the champion. Okay, now we're going to get a lot of rewards. Looks like we get an item chest and we get the ability to buy stuff. Okay, so the Sky Cruiser, you know, is our wor worst card. I don't care about that at all. The Forge Chief, perfectly fine, giving it an ability, but eh. The Forge of Tomorrow, when I'm summoned, summon a copy of me. So having two Forge of Tomorrows in play doesn't really matter because, you know, you destroy, you destroy it, refill your spell mana. If you have two of them, you just destroy both of them and then still just refill your spell mana. So you're not actually uh, gaining anything from having that second one in play. You do get the second 3-3, but it can really clog your board having those two Forge of Tomorrows in play. So all that to say... I don't know if I like any of these. Do we have to use our second reroll already? Man, I don't want to. Could just give it to the Forge Chief. Forge of Tomorrow, make two three threes. I guess we'll do that. I'm I'm scared that we're gonna run out of room though. I'm scared that's gonna take up too much room. But it's just the best thing to do if I don't want to use my reroll. Okay, so in the shop, I'm always gonna buy that other reroll token. And looking at this, looks like we have a lot of like mid-range bodies. Um, what is plus one plus one and I can't read that. Oh, Fury. Okay, yeah, this, this gets so this gets returned to a four two Fury. That's not so bad. Um, progress day that gives the top ally plus eight plus eight. Poro sled, Poro sled heals the Nexus five. I love healing my Nexus. I don't usually like taking just these mid range bodies though, but I do like healing my Nexus. Poro sled heal my Nexus. Definitely thinking about just passing. Yeah, I don't. I just don't know if any of these are really worth it. So this is an epic item chest. And this is the best we got. Let's use a reroll. That's a waste of a reroll. What's this time trick when cast shuffle two copies? No, I don't even like that. 
Shadow Shift invokes. Oh, I don't even like that either. Okay, so just wasted a reroll. I'm not going to waste another one. Alright, let's see what we got. Man, I have gotten no value out of any of my resources in this run. <laughs> I'm going to be shocked if we win this. Okay. We have, over here, we have a champion item chest. That's good. A gold chest. I don't care about gold chest and a champion item chest. That's good. And this is a rare one. That's a common one. So rares are going to be better. So I'd rather go this way. This is just round start toss toss one. Whenever either player goes deep, they cre create a treasure. Okay. This one is, they start with the scar grounds. Okay. Scar grounds are super scary, especially with tough. Let's go this way towards the sunken treasure. Oh, we do have a Vi now. I already forgot about that. Okay, bye bye. Bye. Bye bye bye. So they start with 35. That's what they have left. So they start with 40. Yuck. Remember, we're the ones who make progress happen. We're working here. Let's go, people. Okay, probably doing nothing this next round to have our three mana spell. I wish this toss animation was a little faster. We have to sit there through. You know, what is, you know, like five seconds of nothing each round. That's pretty slow. Danger pay. Okay, two three threes or shock blast. I kind of think. Usually I'll just be playing the three threes right here. So one three three trades. Actually, yeah, we'll still just do that. Okay. We have. One six cost spell. It only checks the spells, so like Sejuani costs six, but it doesn't check Sejuani. Okay, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Our hands been pretty good. Nothing beats field testing. They're getting closer to deep. Oh, okay. Not deep yet. Okay, now they're deep. So they get a treasure. Okay, so it does tell us that treasure that they get. Not a good time. Oh, I'm sorry, Jace. Oh, that's a big scary sea monster over there. We're just gonna have to play a new Let's new Jace. Let's get I'm kinda glad they got Treasure Trove. Because they're gonna have a good amount of cards in hand still, so the Treasure Trove isn't gonna be helping as much. Uh, double forge of t you know forge of tomorrow with two things. Okay, attack for seven. Put them down to nine, and then I have three seven damage. And burn spells. Flooding gets golden glory. Ooh. That's good. Get all that damage in. All right. We're still alive. Took no damage in that round. Still stayed at 14. And now we're going to go get a rare champion item. Okay. I guess pack mentality. I definitely don't want to keep using my rerolls. I don't care about Mighty Poro or Shady Character at all. We, again, we don't want mid-range bodies. So, pack mentality. Okay. 
Let's go get this rare champion item. Barrier, quick attack, or plus two, plus two. I kind of like giving the Jace quick attack so that we can. it will always have quick attack and challenger. I think I actually like that. I think I like having Jace always just have quick attack and challenger. Let's do that. Oh no, Sejuani. I'm just going to heal. I'm at 14. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. Whenever they summon an ally, grant it plus one, plus one. So all their units have plus one, plus one, and tough from what they would normally have. Man, I don't... I don't think we're going to be winning this, but... <laughs> I think we're going to have to retry. We squandered a lot of earlier things, but you never know. All right, Sky Cruiser is an auto mulligan. Against plus one, plus one, and tough, we can mulligan that. The Vi is kind of the question mark here. We're definitely keeping assembly line for round three. Vi, I'm not sure about. Uh, we have a lot of pretty poor cards in our deck, and it's going to be better than a lot of stuff. That's not perfect, but we'll go ahead and keep them. Okay, so now, now we're looking a little bit better. So now we can have Forge of Tomorrow on three, and then we can go assembly line on four. We can kind of double spell on four with... Oh my gosh, that thing is huge. Yeah, so much for that heal seven I just did. We can double spell on four with refilling our spell mana with the Forge of Tomorrow after assembly line. We want to trade because we want the space. Golden Crush Bots. Go Vi before attacking. Vi stands for violence. The storm approaches. Maybe I should not have gone Vi before attacking. I was going to say that we could even, you know, throw away this thermogenic beam to make Vi a 6-4 instead of a 5-4. I don't think this is worth it. Alright, so we've, we've drawn four bricks in a row. Crush bot, crush bot. Forge Chief Apprentice, four bricks in a row. So the five seven can still kill Vi. Happy to do whatever's needed. Born for conquest. So this does six, which means this does two. Five bricks in a row? How are we drawing so bad in this game again? Suppose you want us working, Cards right? are useless. Well, that is what I think for. You own what you take. Two out of five. Watch your back! Alright, we got them down to twelve. We do have round start rally. Yay! That card's not useless. We are at two out of two. Oh, I'm one mana short. All right, so it already has quick attacks. Let's grab challenger. One mana short for the acceleration gate. Good. It's not a Sejuani. Good. I'm, I was, you know, that's what I was kind of worried about, like, that they would just Sejuani right after that. Powering up. Okay. 
I think we may survive. Ooh, pack mentality. Pack mentality is pretty sweet here. Does it get... I guess it's going to get cost reduction by two. Ready for acceleration. Hopefully we give other keywords and not overwhelm, because pack mentality is going to give overwhelm it anyway. Nothing escapes my Okay, that's pretty cool. Rude. Alright, lifesteal. Even though we're already at a whole bunch. Oh, they're, they have no more cards left. Alright, let's just go and scout. Scout, scout. I guess that's just going to kill them. Alright, so, lifesteal. First. Woo! We made it! We made it. I can't believe we're still alive on this run. The Witcher's Claw triumphs. Yeah, so Tawani's a boss, so yeah, we'll heal our Nexus anyway. So yeah, the life steal didn't really matter, but just, you know, playing it right. Okay, Revitalizing Roar? No, I don't want these cards. I guess we gotta take one of them. So 3-2 Coral Creatures. Ugh. Could use my reroll. I don't want, I don't want any of these. So I guess I use my reroll. These just water down our deck more. I guess I'm taking this Troll Ravager that heals my Nexus for four. It'd just be a generic 3-5. I think I could see playing Augmented Experimenter. I think I'd rather just have the four mana heal four. Okay, what other kind of reward do we get? A new power! Yay! Yes, maybe I shouldn't use my reroll there and save reroll. It's I'm gonna do either Challenger or Fury. I guess Fury. Yeah. All right, Fury it is. Because you know, like our best card in our deck is Jace, and Jace already is gonna have Challenger and Quick Attack. So then that power of just give things Challenger would really mean nothing for Jace, and it doesn't really mean much for Sejuani either. So all right, we got a gold chest, which I don't really like gold chests. Champion item chest. I like those. So let's go down here. But let's see. This one is their Poros, and every time a Poro dies. Okay, that's not a big deal. Um, just they make a new copy of that Poro in their deck somewhere, and then all copies of that kind of Poro get plus one plus one. Every foe's ally has Nexus Strike draw a card. That's much more difficult. Um. So I think this is the more difficult route, but I think the champion item is just so much better. So we're going to go this way. Alright, you like Fury a lot? Cool. So Fury's insane, so yeah. We'll do we'll do the Fury. Okay, not bad. Not sure about this ruthless raider if I should keep it or not. Oh, that's true. Fury works with I also. Okay. We're doing stuff. Four one Fury. Excuse me. And clearing up space. Even though arguably we shouldn't be clearing up space. Nice to meet you. I'm Ila. <laughs> Shadow Fiend. Come on, then. All right, so they get to draw a card. So they'll deal damage to my Nexus. But attacking with that two one didn't make a lot of sense. We got a lot of forge workers. Been Let his knee out. Uh, that's interesting that it takes the three damage before it gets to the top. Get get paid. Oh, love to. Got some fighting, yeah. 
This pack mentality could be pretty sweet next round. The thing is... I'm at 26. I really want to play this Troll Ravager. Like, is it is it greedy if I just, like, have this game last a little longer? And get his Troll Ravager and play first? It puts me back to 30. Is that too greedy? Oh! Why did I attack? I went to attack. How did he attack token? Okay. <laughs> I really did make the game last longer. <laughs> I really did. Suppose you want us working, eh? Well, that is what I pay you for. That was embarrassing. I suppose getting rid of blockers when all my stuff's gonna have overwhelm anyway. This is necessary. Okay, so I did pretty bad there, but hopefully it shouldn't really affect us. Hopefully we can still just win this and be at 30. I think we should still be able to just win this and be at 30. We'll have the attack token again right here. They play something. This can just do two, right? Yeah. So we're still good. We're still good. Still at 30. Yeah, Lizard says in the old labs, Vi was really clutch for you. Specifically with uh, stuff with the power that raised her her health. Or gave her more keywords. <gasps> Jeez. Alright, so now whenever we cast a spell, grant Jace plus one plus one. Let's go. Can we get more copies of Jace? I didn't even really even read the other two. But now we get our champion item. So Jace already has spell shield. Barrier's not really that valuable. Plus four, plus four, but cost two more. Do I want to put that on like Vi? Do I want Vi to be like seven mana? But then is just like ridiculously big? Or I could just have Vi have spell shield also. I guess Vi could have barrier and then can just like challenge something immediately with like barrier. Actually, let's do that. Let's give Vi Barrier. I don't really need Jace to have Barrier, considering Jace is going to have Quick Attack and Challenger. Like, you don't need Barrier with Quick Attack, except for blocking. Okay, Pack Mentality heals my Nexus. Let's buy our Reroll Token. And Pack Mentality heal the Nexus. And there we go. I, I mean, Phage turns this thing into a 4-7... Which I guess a 4-7 is like a real card. Yeah. I guess a 4-7 is a card. Okay. Let's kind of see what we're doing over here. So we're either going to go round start, each player gets a mana gem. So that's nice and even. Or epic. When your foe summons a non-sea monster ally, it draws one, tosses two, and reduces the cost of sea monsters in its hand by one. That is so much stuff. Yeah, forget going that way. We'll just go this way. So we're going to go this way, which leads us to an item chest. So therefore, that's an item shop. You know, we're probably not going back to a shop again. Let's go and use our reroll here and buy more cool stuff. Forge of Tomorrow's cost two mana, and they get two three threes at two mana. Okay. That's good, right? Yeah, that's probably good. Okay. So with this fight, we both get a mana gem right away. So we'll start with two mana. So we could start with like Forge of Tomorrow and get like three threes immediately. Okay, you go away, go away, go away. We'll keep Vi. Vi cool. Forge of Tomorrow. No Forge of Tomorrow. Oh, tough. Oh, 4-1. So we're going to have 5 mana here and... 
Oh, whoa, whoa. You get another mana gem? Okay, so this is how this is working. Okay, I'm picking up over what you're putting down. I'm no, I'm listening. This is kind of absurd. I we feast tonight, I agree. So now we're gonna have Sejuani mana already? On round three? All right, so this has been pretty crazy. Yeah, <laughs> like, look at my really cool Uzgar. It's like, well, my bye just kind of takes it down. Okay, we're gonna pack mentality. We haven't even played a spell yet. Yeah, that thing is big. I guess we'll just pack mentality with our two units. Pack mentality again. I tried being polite. Freeze. Hmm. Tough fury, fearsome. They just didn't even block. <laughs> Very animations they've been getting are just so good. I wish they would go back and. Update some of the other ones, like especially Teemo. I guess we'll just go and Shock Blast, Shock Blast. Because we're going to be open attacking. We're going to have the attack token next round. And we'll be open attacking, so we'll get that out of here. That's such a cool level of animation. Hold my shrimp. Oh, you don't have Overwhelm anymore. <laughs> That's funny. Still fine though. Okay, we're still at 30. That was a pretty easy level, not gonna lie. Gave both people like a lot of mana gems, but then they didn't really play very much to really reward them. That was a pretty easy, easy level. Much, much easier than probably that other one looked. That that other sea monster one looked insane. Okay. So I guess we're just gonna just have Forge Chiefs right away. I think that's what we're gonna choose. I don't really want a Poro. So let's just start with Forge Chief in our hand. It's good to start with those. Oh, that's Assembly Line. I thought that was Forge Chief. I was like, Forge Chief minus two cost? Assembly Line. Okay, so Assembly Line minus two cost. Round start, get an extra mana gem this round? Wait. So. So this landmark will just sit and play and we just get extra mana gems? That sounds cool. I mean, draw a champion's pretty nice. I was about to take that, but I guess we're just gonna get extra mana gems. Sure, why not? All right, we don't need to heal. We can cut. Yes, we get to cut Sky Cruiser. Oh man, life's good. All right, and final boss, Nautilus. Are we actually gonna do it? Are we actually gonna win this? This one against the vaunted Nautilus that everybody said so tough. Whenever we did. We wasted so many, like, powers and abilities and stuff early on. Alright, so what- I didn't even re- I, didn't, I'm, I just kind of joined. What, what do we have? Okay, epic. When in, when any unit dies, heal the foe's nexus one, and the foe tosses one. Okay. This wording is always so weird because it's like, it's their power, but then it says foe, so it makes me think that I'm doing it, because, like, I'm the foe of the enemy. It's- I don't know. I don't. I don't know exactly how we word these, but just like even if it just said like my units have tough, I think that kind of makes sense of like for like the enemy powers, my units have tough. But yeah, he's my foe. But like it's like I don't know. It's yeah. It the language is just feels weird. But all right. So any unit at all. So if any on either side, whenever units die, they heal their nexus for one and they toss one. 
Gotcha. Okay, we're gonna send you back. Definitely keeping this forge of tomorrow. Um, Golden Crushbot being a 4-7 is pretty cool, but I still think I send you back, right? Because we just want champions, right? Or actually, you know what? We're gonna keep Shock Blast. Final answer. Because we're gonna keep spells that, that cost 6 plus mana for our power of growing things. Let's get to work. Rude. So they heal one, toss one. Man, and they, they gave us the Lux emote. Opponent. AI super rude. So I'm gonna get like two mana gems? Round start? I mean, I guess I... Maybe I shouldn't even be attacking. Because they're just gonna toss two. But I have to do damage. Oh no, they get to they get to toss sunk cost. Unfortunately, we have to play like a spell that costs six plus, and so we're gonna have to get rid of these forges tomorrows. Okay, wait. Uh, okay, it already has quick attack, so I choose challenger. I couldn't remember which one that was because I think last time it had challenger, and we chose quick attack. <laughs> AI BMs, yeah. Man, I don't want to. I don't want to play a spell and get rid of these. They're so good. I don't want to play a spell. Back to 40. Okay, that doesn't help him. Lethal? Wow, we got him. All right, how about that? Now that's what I call progress. That's what I call progress. Okay, we defeated Nautilus. I don't think we're winning that run for like how <laughs> how much we just wasted all of our early resources. Adventure complete. There we go. We got a new rare relic item. When I level up, create a copy of my champion spell in hand and it costs 0 this round. That is a good rare relic item. The Titan of the Depths. That looks pretty cool. That little seal. S, yes, S health, 30 health, let's go, B speed, A wealth, okay, we got an S health, alright, now we've leveled up to level 10, so now we can actually get a, now we can use the rare um, relic slots now, so we can use that, that nice relic we just got, we're going to get two more rerolls, and there we go. So now we're at level 12 for Jace. Um, so our relic items. Yeah, let's do this one. Let's get zero cost champion spell. All right, so no more spell shield. Uh, we're almost at, if we were at level 14, we'd gain another slot, so then we'd have spell shield also, but not quite. All right, so there we go. That was our first run at Nautilus. Ended up taking it down, kind of surprisingly enough, but we got there with Jay. So now we have Victor. Victor is going to be the final, final boss. And then after Victor, I guess the thing to do is just keep on leveling up Jace and then kind of go back and redo all of them and try to get those S tier, those S rankings um, across the board. All right, that's that's going to be the next thing because um, you know you have these badges down here. Uh, let, let me take my camera out of here. There we go. You have these badges. And so that's the thing to do is, you know, try to get S badges across the board. And so if you're struggling with something, like if you're struggling with Nautilus, 
and everything. Maybe go back and, you know, redo some of these other ones and try to level up your champion and in the meantime try to get S badges across the board. Now the question uh, question is, do you get anything for the S badges? No, but it's just cool to get them um, and just, you know, be able to show off and have them. Because, um, you know, like, that's what it's all about, right? It's all about challenging yourself um, and that's a really good challenge of trying to get those S badges. But All right, so we have uh, Victor will be the next one. Titan of the Depths has been defeated. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the run. Um, we've got any questions, anything about it. Let me know. Hopefully this will help you a little bit if you are, uh, sorry, uh, if you're, you know, struggling on Nautilus, you know, hopefully this run with Jace is, will help you uh, and, you know, just get some information about it. Um, I know some of y'all playing Caitlyn have really struggled with all the units having tough. I'll have to go try that one out myself. I haven't tried that one yet. Um, but uh, there's our, our run with Jace versus Nautilus. All right. Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching. Can never say that enough. And we'll see you for the next video.